Hi, I'm LV from Meadowlark Log Homes. I want to show you the progress of the upstairs log portion for the lodge going to Idaho. This is a Friday evening. I can hear the crickets chirping. They're pretty happy tonight. And tonight, the, on a Friday afternoon, the boys got completely done with the pre-assembly of this upstairs. This home is almost 7,000 square feet. So I want to give you a walk around, walk through this whole thing of the pre-assembly here at our Metal Ark Log Homes yard where we uh, put them all together first before they're dismantled and shipped. On Monday, this thing's coming down. It'll be put into packages, shipped on trucks to Idaho, and the boys will put it back together. So let's. Uh, this is the garage. I'll walk around here. And this uh, inside walls are flat. Uh, flat surface of the wall we call the d-log and there was a prior video where we got the bottom floor and then the boys got the uh, bottom floor erected in idaho on site already and now we're going to ship this and uh, put it together and get it all completed so this is a log dormer uh, there's a log gable all the way to the peak Everything's made of log, not frame, but rather full log all the way up. And the roof purlins tying in that will get a better view inside. Let me get around this crane and to the front of the building so I can get a better view of the entry. This is where you would enter the house. And it's low to the ground because it's the top floor that's set down on the ground. So that's going to be very tall. That will be the entry. This Sunburst Trust porch that will uh, be above you as you enter the house. So I'll go right on in. We use round log log work for the, the trusses and purlins, and these people requested uh, the flat wall on the inside, which also gave us a unique opportunity to make a flat wall truss. That is a feature we could uh, offer in any home. This uh, Sunburst Trust being flat, which is really, really nice. Um, the surface inside is all flat there with round logs going into it. I think it just really sets it off and gives a beautiful, like a timber look. There's white wood, red wood, but most of these logs are larch. Very, very strong timbers. The corners just have a simple notch going into it where they butt together in a V. That will be out overlooking uh, the front porch, the covered sunburst truss. Let's have a look at these, uh, this log work up above our heads. These are valley rafters, massive logs that span at an angle to the peak. Also right there, carrying the side purlins, mounted on these double massive beams up top called a double ridge and right there all that joinery comes together it's really beautiful these guys did a fantastic job on this way up top there's gonna be a short little truss up there to support that long ridge beam So this will be looking down over the, over the great room. I'd be standing in the loft, looking down. I'll move into the one bedroom. This would be the upstairs archway wall going into bedrooms. And here we have a, a log dormer. Now these flat walls are not finished yet because right in this groove uh, where they join will be uh, grooved or uh, uh, tapered with a routered, actually we take a draw knife and make a, a beveled edge so they'll look a little better once they're on the site uh, where they have that beveled edge. Right now they're just sawed flat with a mill but the boys will put that beveled edge on which makes it really look uh, cool where they join. This again has a double ridge 
stacked so it's strong enough to carry uh, that log dormer uh, log dormer bearer logs and log dormer there so we got one right here I'll turn around and look at that one this is why we call it a D log flat inside and round outside for those of you who don't know uh, who don't know about this we offer the D log but the full round inside and out is more common on this side we have the the round log um, but most of the interior ended up being flat except for this wall here and the other side of that wall so I'll move over into this other bedroom area there's another uh, log gable dormer same kind of log work up here double ridge a double ridge carrying that whole uh, log work right there And uh, just lots of very unique log work. Little log valleys carrying the, uh, the roof structure for each dormer with very unique notching. It's fantastic. Now here's another little log uh, archway to go over into that uh, breezeway that connects the house and the garage. So. I'm walking into the breezeway. This is kind of an angle here, an angle uh, corner right there. Really cool little truss. It seems low for me, but that's because my the loft floor would be below my feet by about two feet lower. It's kind of a neat little bolted truss right there that takes care of this angle of the house right in here. I'll get an outside view of that. Now I'm walking through this, this breezeway it's narrower, looks like about 16 feet wide, going into the garage. So this door would go into the garage. And now I'm looking at some log work right above me. Some, that's a valley right there. Carries these logs. Carries a purlin, notch down below. It's all joined together with these notches. And these are really... Uh, a work of art to cut in they're all angled two different ways the tops of these logs are flat to carry the lumber so I'm inside the garage lots of glass in the front gable here double ridge on the top to carry that log truss uh, that log uh, purlin bearer and purlin bearer over domer bearer over here There's a nice, you know, trapezoid glass feature on that end of the of the garage. Again, we use the flat truss on the inside here. Really cool feature. For those of you who would be interested, that is would be available in a regular round log home. We could do a flat truss. Uh, have more of the semblance of a timber. So we'll get an overall view inside here. I'll walk around this side to get an outside view of everything. <clears throat> outside, back side of the garage. You can see the long overhangs we have on our houses. Standard four foot purlin overhangs on every end of the house. Cabins are a little bit less, but houses are four feet, standard. There's a lot of glass in that upstairs breezeway right there. A smaller window in the breezeway. This is the notch I was talking about. The angle uh, rafter has got two surfaces for the lumber to go on. And that kind of tilts here. It's all flat for the lumber to go on. You'll notice all the purlins have a flat surface. When the logs are erected, it's ready to put lumber on those flat surfaces right there. Everything is completely flat at the right angle ready for lumber there's even a slot cut in the side there where the lumber will fit into that slot for the roof of the uh, breezeway let me put my hand in there it's made for the lumber to go right in there and fit on those flats double ridge poking out carrying this little really cool what we call a swiss truss on the end of the of the house right there 
it's mostly ornamental, but it, um, it you know, ties those logs together. It gives it a very unique look. Those are the outside of the gable dormer right there. The massive front porch, the gable truss uh, inside where the glass will be, and then the outside truss. We call this a sunburst truss. Looking back at the garage over there. This is now the main house. And here's a, another log dormer outside. The main house is a much taller, steeper roof than the garage. You want the house to be bigger than the garage so it doesn't so it, it looks right. Have the garage more low profile. There's another Swiss truss on top there, spanning between those purlins. So we've got two log gable dormers pointing forward and two pointing back. And these folks came to us with their plan about a year ago. Actually, I was on my way home from Seattle Children's Hospital on a quick trip home um, just for a day. And I stopped at their place in Idaho to look at their land and talk about their plans. It was exactly a year ago. So it took a while to get this all drawn up and the concrete in the ground, get this all built this summer. And so now we're getting ready to put it all together. It's turning out very well. But the site visit was important. It's a big house, so we make sure everything's gonna be coming together properly and look for things that, for access and different things, but all turned out pretty good. We'll back up, get a bigger view of it. That's the garage end of it right here. We'll have more videos of this home once it's up, possibly during erection of it and during the um, roof system. I'll try to do some video of it once we're doing the, the sanding and the varnish. The customers have asked us to provide the sanding on the inside. We sand, uh, clean up the inside, buff it, sand it, varnish and chink caulk the cracks, the, the checks and the seams, and on the outside we, we clean it all off with pressure washer and cleaner, and that'll be next summer when it's warm, and then we stain and chink the outside. And we're going to be putting the roof on it too before all that happens. We'll do the inside work in the winter and the outside work uh, next summer. Okay, we thank you for watching. Be looking for more video of this house and some uh, down the road. And uh, we thank you for watching, and have a good day. God bless.